What's up guys, Sean here from SRKCycles.com and I just can't help but ask myself where did I go wrong in life that now I am test driving scooters? This is a giant scooter. Uh, you know what? Look at a wheelbase on that. Hold on, I'm just noticing this right now. Here's a Harley Davidson 1200 Sportster. Let's compare the wheelbase. Front tire lined up. It's got a longer wheelbase. Uh, a little longer, I think. All right, guys, so here's a scoop. We're test driving a Bergman. And this thing has some crazy. This is a Bergman Executive. This actually has some features I have never, ever seen on a motorcycle. I've only seen them on cars. And uh, it's pretty wild. I'm going to show them to you real quick. Let's go ride a Bergman. All right. Coming right here, just got to show you to you, something to you. Well, I guess you, uh, maybe if you have it in the center stand. Watch this. What? Are you, are you serious? First of all, I'm not sure why you need that. Second of all, I'm not sure how I've lived life without it. All right, 2013, first of all, words of wisdom. All right guys, do words of wisdom. Philippians 4. 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's put this down here lest I incriminate myself. So the first time I rode a Bergman was about two years ago. We had one in. It was a white one or a black one. I don't know what color it was. And I was pretty impressed with it. I actually had the chance to go head to head with a Sportster 883, and uh, it was pretty. It was pretty head to head. It was pretty tied up. Watch this. Hey, what's going on with that? Oh wait. Oh, there we go. All right, watch, watch it. This is the fastest windscreen I've ever seen on a motorcycle. That is fast. Um, this is for drives. We can do manual or automatic. Right now it's manual. So I can shift it myself. So you have the manual and uh, the automatic. This thing, this thing moves pretty good. Um, let's just have a good, let's just have a fun. Let's compare this to the Harley Davidson Sportster 883. This thing is two more horsepower than the 883, and actually weighs a couple pounds more than the 883. Um, not that I'm trying to say if you're looking at it, if if you're looking to buy an 883, you might like this. Kind of like, uh, I, I remember going to like a Christian bookstore as a kid and I'd see like a Jars of Clay album and it's like, if you like Marilyn Manson, you'll like Jars of Clay. And I was like, really? <laughs> that's what, that's what's going to happen? So I'm not trying to do that. Um, what I'm trying to say is, all right, all right, here we go. I'm not a scooter guy. I'm a motorcycle guy. This is not a motorcycle. 
Now all you scooter guys, just send your hate mail to uh, Caleb's address. But here's what this scooter does for me. It makes me think scooters are cooler than what I originally thought they were. I'm not saying I think that I now think scooters are as cool as motorcycles. It's just if this is what scooters represented always, you know what I mean? Then it's like, okay, that's that's different. That's different than what I thought it did. My perception of scooters is significantly different. Let's uh put it in manual mode. Also, the way they gear this thing is for highway. They gear this thing just to crush those highway speeds. So if you're looking at a scooter like this, or if you're just interested to be like, what's going on with this thing? Um, here's what's going on with it. Oh, wait, hold on. I had the wrong power setting. Let me move this. Do we see anything if I move that? Power, power. I'm not seeing it change anything. Oh wait, maybe I have to be power. Oh, power mode. Okay, I remember this from last time. Power mode makes a big difference. Like, like power mode unleashes all the ponies. Let's go do this again. go all right we'll go this way oh i can only do power mode in um maybe power mode does not release oh, let's try it all right so power mode just changes the shifting points but wow i mean you can see that you don't you don't know how fast it, it's really hard to tell how fast you're going it's, it's incredibly smooth um a little uh 630 something cc uh, twin somewhere down there i guess maybe down there very comfortable seating I could see like in like an alternate like universe where motorcycles were never invented or the guy who invented like Harley Davidson just did it slightly different and all like the badass biker gangs instead of riding what they're riding now are just riding giant displacement scooters and we're all like sitting like this occasionally crossing our legs while we ride. I'm gonna hold the brake. No, I'm not. This is maybe up here. I'll do it. I would like to count what the zero to sixty is because this thing pulls pretty quick. I would guess it's maybe like four and a half. Every time I don't know why I don't know why what the point of this is but every time you get off a of full throttle it lets you know hey now you're being eco-friendly or every time it goes under like 3,000 rpms now I can like jump on my uh, my social media posts and let everyone know you know what I don't drive a Prius but hold up I'm eco-friendly little leaves two little leaves crossing leaf stuff yeah this thing really winds out for sure it is a comfortable bike it is it is a i think it's the biggest scooter out there no it's not true the uh 
Kimco has the My Road, which is like an 800cc scooter. I'm gonna put my mirrors in. Oh, this is what you do when you want to go faster. You're trying to hit those top speeds. You're racing your buddy. You're trying to get like you go at Bonneville. You're getting a little too much uh, drag coefficient. You just tuck it in, throw it back out. You got to see something behind you. Another thing about these scooters is they do feel super, super nimble. One of these days I'm going to wreck a scooter up in like the Dragon Tail or take one to like a racetrack and full, full blown suit, show everybody what's up. There's, I, I'm almost thinking that that's, the speedometer is just off a little bit, which is, which is common for motorcycles, you know, the higher speed you go, but. I'm sure this is about the speed limit. Everyone else is going this this speed limit. So I'm actually pretty impressed uh, with this thing. Don't know what that is. Oh, here's the thing. There's like a rag. No, it's a paper towel. And another paper towel, of course. <laughs> because when you're driving a scooter, you need lots of paper towels. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for watching SRK Cycles. As always, check out the next video right over here and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding. And it's dead. Listen, it's definitely not what you're riding. It's where you're going. We'll see you guys later.